G'day. In today's video, I've got an iPhone 14, and this one here has had received a few impacts, which has in turn has killed the display, uh, the cameras on here. So both these cameras aren't functioning, and the LED flash isn't functioning. Typically, if the cameras fail, the LED flash will stop as well, or you try and turn on the torch, and you can't do that either. So I'm going to be opening this up and replacing it with two replacement for iPhone 14 rear cameras. I have had this sitting on my blue heat pad here for around about uh, around about 15 minutes or so at 60 degrees Celsius, and it has heated it up quite a bit. Now on this one, on the 14s I believe, the back cover comes off to get into the phone. So I'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol there. I'm going to undo the two pentalobe screws in the bottom of the phone. And then from there, I'll put it back down and try and get this back cover off in one piece. I say in one piece mainly because it's already cracked. It's going to have a high probability of further cracking, which is not great. It's not what you want, but it's what we very well may get. Now, I'm going to simply start in the bottom here on my metal pry tool. Put some isopropyl along here. The isopropyl, the idea behind that is it should soften the adhesive that's already there. Uh, this wants to let me get into the phone. There we go, that went in. Now if I lift it up. It's starting to pry it, but it's not popping up as one single piece. No, this is going to be a battle. I can already see. Now, I'm not sure which way we need to open it, whether not we open it to the left or to the right. Um, I guess we just got to trend with caution. I think I see the flex cable on this side. No, that does look like it's just one of the brackets. Looks like we're folding it this way. If the uh, glass wants to hold up. Fold that over like a book. And bingo. Now, I don't want to disconnect this one. I just want to get it out of the way for now. Looks like this bracket here needs to come off before I can proceed. The phone is currently powered down. One, two, 
Take this out and have a look, get an idea of where it needs to go. Yeah, one, two, three. Where are we going? Question. I'm not going to find out until I start taking this apart, I believe. Unless we go around the corner here, and we're at one and two. These guys up. Drop that down in here. Feed it into those grooves. There we go. Now I need to line this cable up and click. Yep, that one clicked in just fine. Move that one up and click. One, two. Good there now. Put these three screws back in. here, line up, uh, which way we go, we feed it in that way. cover off here, put it on the old one, fold this over like a book, push down, and this back doesn't look too great now, and from here, put the two pentalobe screws back in, and give it a test. If you've done this, well, I'd say, if you've done this and replaced it with a genuine or just an aftermarket or second-hand iPhone 14 camera, you should be able to pair it if you're running iOS 18 and it will stop producing an error message, but it will come up in the history of the phone. I'm going to give this a quick test out and make sure it's all good. But I hope that helps you with your iPhone 14 camera replacement. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.